Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this video card from MSI. This is the R7770. Here's a closer look at the retail box for starters and I did want to point out the full name of this video card which is R7770 PMD1GD5. So that's the full name of the video card. Uh, this video card features all solid capacitors. You also get access to MSI's Afterburner which is a GPU overclocking utility. It also can do some other neat tricks. This is an AMD Radeon video card, so it's based on the AMD Radeon HD 7770, 7770 GPU. Uh, you also get 1GB of GDDR5 memory on a 128-bit bus. You get DirectX 11 capability, DisplayPort out. You also have a three-year warranty if you're purchasing this card in Canada or Mexico or USA, of course. Uh, this is the Gigahertz Edition video card, which means the GPU core clock runs at 1000 megahertz or 1 gigahertz. Uh, and then you also have better overclocking capacity, thanks to the, uh, the cooler that's installed in the video card. Uh, here's some more of that information listed again. Uh, you guys can take a closer look if you wanted to read any of the detailed specs here. Here's some more information about Afterburner. Here's some more information about these solid capacitors. Note that they do not explode, which is a fantastic feature. 10-year uh, lifetime under full load. Here's some detailed features. Uh, you get PCI Express 3.0 uh, interface, and that's by virtue of the new AMD Radeon HD uh, GPU. Uh, some of the other stuff I already listed off. GCN architecture, that's the code name of the architecture. It's 28 nanometer process GPU manufacturing technology. Uh, the specific code name of the GPU in this card is Cape Verde. Uh, and this is a Southern Islands GPU. It has 1,500 million transistors, uh, and yeah, there, you, there you go. So uh, all the features here from AMD uh, listed, and you can read those individually, and that's about it for the box. Taking a look inside the box, we will first check out accessories. There's your accessory. Uh, you also have, oh, here's some more stuff. Let me get all of this out for you guys. All right, so first off, you do have uh, power requirements for this video card. And they come in the form of a six pin PCI Express connector. So you will need one of these coming from your power supply. However, if you don't have one of those and your power supply does have enough wattage to support this card, you can use two Molex plugs, convert that to a six pin PCI Express, and you'll still be able to power this video card. You also get this driver and software disk. So this uh, has Afterburner, the Afterburner utility if you want to install it. Uh, you could also download Afterburner. Uh, this also has drivers. You can also download the drivers. Um, let's, yeah, there's a look at the disk itself. Um, you can also download the drivers. Chances are you're going to want the most up-to-date ones, so usually you're not going to use this disk, but you do have that option if you're having any difficulties connecting to the internet. Here's sort of a generic a quick user's guide for graphics cards. So if you haven't worked with graphics cards before as far as installation and uninstallation and how to properly connect them. There's sort of a, a walkthrough of the general principles behind that. You also get this R7700 series, 7700 series information with a bit more specific information about this graphics card, such as the fan connector, the layout of the PCB. Uh, also, we'll walk you through the MSI Afterburner uh, installation and installation physically of the hardware itself. And now, Here's the video card. And here's a look at the R7770 itself. Now the 7770 kind of falls a little bit more towards the lower end of the 7000 series spectrum of available GPUs from AMD, uh, but that means that this video card, while not necessarily as powerful as say a 7950 or something along those lines, uh, is still fairly powerful and it hits a nice sweet spot between price and performance. Uh, another great thing about this card that I, I, I really like is that it's actually fairly small. So I'm going to do a quick measurement here, as I like to do with video cards, to sort of give you guys a good idea of uh, how much space you'll need to fit in the case. It's listed as 7.6 inches on our website. I'm actually getting, uh, part of that is including the bracket measurement, but I'm measuring it from the bracket itself, the flat part, so the space you actually need in your case is just a little bit over 7 inches. Uh, so it should fit in, in most computer cases that are out there. You should bear in mind that you do need a two-slot uh, spacing within your case, so make sure you have that set up, two PCI brackets next to each other, and of course you will also need a PCI Express connector to plug this into. It's protected by plastic, so here's your PCI Express connector. It's, it is PCI Express Gen 3 compatible. It's also backwards compatible with PCI Express Gen 2. 
uh, or 2.1. So um, don't worry if you are running an older motherboard that doesn't have PCI Express Gen 3, you can still plug this in. It will still work, and you won't even really see much of a performance difference since Gen 3 really just gives you additional bandwidth. This card isn't going to saturate the bandwidth even of PCI Express Gen 2. You notice at the top you have a single blower style, I'm, I'm sorry, a single fan. Uh, what that fan is going to do is actually pull ambient air from within your case, direct it down towards the video card. Beneath it, you see there is an aluminum, there's a set of aluminum fins right there. It's sort of in a circular pattern from the top, so that's going to, um, the aluminum fin is going to be absorbing heat from the GPU itself, which is located right here, or at least on the other side of the PCB right there. Uh, the air moving across the fins is going to di dissipate that heat. Uh, this stack of fins is also sitting right above a lot of the, uh, the memory that's installed, so it's also going to keep the memory a bit cooler. So a uh, fairly good cooling solution here on this card. There is the 6-pin PCI Express power connector. You will need to plug that into your um, power supply in order to power this card properly. It has a shroud covering the uh, cooling solution. It's black. It's got some blue highlights right here as well as the MSI logo. If you have this installed, in your case, chances are that's what you're going to be seeing most of. But there you can see a little bit of the inner workings of the card, the power delivery hardware that is set up. Uh, and then on the bottom here, um, if you ever did want to remove this cooler, you could by virtue of these four screws. They're spring-loaded Phillips head screws, so not too difficult to remove that cooling solution if you do want to perhaps uh, change it out for something else, or if you just need to um, clean out the card in the future. That's also a nice benefit of having an easily removable cooling solution. Here at the back are your video outputs. Let me just remove the protective caps from them. So you'll notice here you have a dual link DVI out. You also have that HDMI out. And finally you have a display port out. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again this has been the MSI R7770 which is the video card based on the AMD Radeon HD7770 GPU. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel where you can find more tech videos don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.